Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we get cooking for the big game. Perfect foods for football. Chicken enchilada dip. Fresh and flavorful cowboy caviar. But first, my lemony crispy chicken wings and a refreshing Paloma cocktail. Today I'm going to prepare chicken wings. Yes, I have become very familiar with chicken wings. I wanted to learn a recipe that I didn't need an air fryer or any of those things. And of course, baking in the oven at a high temp is the best way to save some calories and get them extra super crisp. So I've been playing around with chicken wings and boy have I learned uh, more than I ever thought I would about these things. There are flats, which are like the little wing, and then there's drums or the drumettes, which look like little chicken legs. And I've been playing around and a lot of them put the sauce on after they're cooked. But in this recipe, I'm gonna do both. I marinate it overnight or for at least a few hours. And then when they come out of the oven, you add a sauce on top and then they are perfectly crisp, perfectly delicious. For the wing marinade, you'll need three to four pounds of chicken wings. You'll need one half cup of extra virgin olive oil, zest and juice from one lemon, one quarter cup of Frank's hot sauce, one tablespoon of fresh ground pepper, two teaspoons of kosher salt, and three teaspoons of dried oregano. So we'll start with the olive oil, and then we're going to add the lemon zest, which is so important, and then the lemon juice. And then I love the heat. Now, if you don't like heat, this is one ingredient you could skip. And I think Frank's hot sauce is the best for wings. And then the oregano, which adds a nice warmth to it. And then the salt and the pepper. I mean, that's it. These are ingredients we have around the house. So we'll mix this up, abracadabra. <laughs> By the magic of television, I have the chicken wings that have been marinating overnight and they are ready to go into the oven. Make sure you preheat your oven for 400 degrees. Get one of your cookie sheets, line it with foil because it's a little bit of a mess. And if you have racks, put them on top of the foil so the uh, fat, you know, drips down and keeps the wings really nice and crisp. And also spray your racks so the chicken wings don't stick to them. So we are just going to put them on. I mean, this is the easy part now. I'm gonna stick them in the oven for about an hour. And every 15 minutes, keep checking on them and turn them, change the different shelves, you know, that they're on because we're gonna have two pans of this. Keep switching them every 15 minutes and turning them around and rotating them just so they keep browning and getting crisp in different areas of the oven. One of my new favorite cocktails is the Paloma and it is grapefruit based and it has tequila in it. So instead of a margarita, it's a little more savory because I just love grapefruit juice. And it has a little lime and it's really, really refreshing and it goes well with these wings. So let's try this. It's two ounces of fresh squeezed grapefruit juice, which is the most important thing with your cocktails. Must be fresh juice, because they really taste good. And then it's equal parts of tequila. Uh, you could probably use a gold, but I'm using a silver. So two and two, and then one part, which will be one ounce, fresh squeezed lime juice. You're still getting the lime, but not as puckery. And we add that to the cocktail shaker. Now the shaker already has some ice in it. And then for a little sweetness, 
You know my new trick, I love the agave nectar. About a teaspoon of this. And it's a healthier way to sweeten it up without doing the simple syrup. So now we'll just shake this up. And then you pour it into a rocks glass, perfect size. Sparkling water on top. So the lime looks pretty. Does that look nice? It's refreshing. Any time of year. Mm. Oh, it is delicious. So before I assemble the dressing to pour on top, what I like to do is just take this Parmesan, freshly grated, remember, and while the wings are nice and hot, just sprinkle them on top. So we'll just sprinkle that and we'll let this sit while I assemble the dressing. For the wing dressing, you'll need one half cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, one half cup of extra virgin olive oil, the zest and juice from one lemon, three garlic cloves minced, one half cup of chopped parsley, and salt and pepper to taste. And it's very similar almost to the marinade. You know, you start with the olive oil, and then, of course, that lemon juice, and the zest, and this one is the best, the garlic. Three cloves of it, oh, love it. And then the parsley, yep, that goes into the dressing, so it sits a lot better after it's done. And then you just give it a couple grinds of pepper, and a little bit of salt. You don't need a lot because we have the Parmesan cheese, which adds like a saltiness to it. So we just mix that together really well. Drizzle this right on top of the wings. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And there you have it. Lemony, crispy chicken wings. And of course, the best way to enjoy it is with the Paloma. So let's see how I did. I'm gonna take a flat, that's my new favorite. And this one looks nice and cheesy and ready to go. Mmm. That is so good. I mean, it's just a totally different flavor than what you are used to. Cheers to me. I love this recipe, you're gonna love it too. Next party, next football game, whatever you're doing, try these wings. Go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. The recipe for the wings and the recipe for the Paloma will be there. And uh, you can thank me later, because these are delicious. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Family owned Mayflower Wilm Insurance Group is your full service independent agency. Our family works with a variety of insurance companies so you have the best choices for your insurance needs. Let us find the right product at the right price. Personal lines, business, farm, commercial insurance, life insurance. Trust locally owned Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important. We'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Isle and Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Join the Isle and Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available at $13 an hour. Given is living.
I am here with Rude the Dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Whether you're partying holiday style, in person or at home, you've got everybody covered. Yes, we have them covered here. You know, we developed a really good catering menu, half pan, full pans, office parties, uh, family parties, anything off-site that we can handle, but also to in-site. We still have our banquet room, which holds up to about 85 people for buffets, limited menus. Again, office parties, family parties, we can get you covered any way you like. And you know what's really great? Rest assured, Magic Tree Pub and Eatery really takes the sanitation and the social distancing guidelines seriously. So you can trust them. Oh yeah, so you know, we want to thank the community for the support over the last few months and the pandemic, and uh, we're looking forward to a new year here. It's going to be a great year. Go to their website or Facebook for the complete menu. Happy holidays. I personally feel that Fred Mark is the best because only 1% of diamonds can even become a Fred Mark diamond. Diamonds take millions of years to be formed in the ground and it's not very pretty. Once you get to that inner core of the diamond, it really can give beauty and light. Fred Mark goes beyond the technical qualities of the four C's. They handpick diamonds that are truly beautiful. Get real, get Kamara. Join Mahoning Valley Historical Society for our virtual cookie table and cocktails at home fundraiser. Grab your favorite cookies, hand cocktail, or choice beverage and safely celebrate this cultural and regional tradition online at MahoningHistory.org and on YouTube and Facebook. Support local history through our silent auction and basket raffle too. Get all the details at MahoningHistory.org. Today I'm gonna to prepare for you one of my new favorite party foods. Always love to see the seven layer dip when I go to a party. Love the buffalo chicken dip. And my neighbor, Carrie Watson, showed up at my house with cowboy caviar. It was so good. So we're gonna make cowboy caviar and I'll be right back with the ingredients. For this recipe, you'll need one 15 ounce can of black beans and black eyed peas, rinsed and drained. One cup of tomatoes, diced. One jalapeno pepper, seeded and diced. One cup of fresh corn. That's about two ears, or you could use canned or frozen. One avocado chopped. One cup of red and or green bell peppers, seeded and diced. One half cup of red onion, diced. One bunch of cilantro leaves, chopped and four ounces of queso fresco cheese crumbled. This is one can drained of the black beans and these are the black eyed peas. So we'll dump that into the bowl. And then the pepper, I use both. This is a medium sized red bell pepper and this is the green. I mean, this is so pretty. And then the corn. It is corn season, so I used two ears and cut that off. And then the red onion, you can soak this in water if you find it has too much of a bite. The tomatoes, and what I did was quarter cherry tomatoes for that. And the jalapeno. This was a larger jalapeno. And then we have the cilantro. All right, so we have all of these ingredients in here. And what we're gonna do is just mix this up Look at that now, isn't that pretty? For the dressing, you'll need one third cup of olive oil, one quarter cup of fresh squeezed lime juice, one half tablespoon of honey, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of red wine vinegar, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and salt and pepper to taste. Now this is really easy. We're going to start with the olive oil, the cumin, I like heat, so I am adding chili powder and I am adding cayenne. And then just to thicken it up, and it kind of takes a little bit of the heat off, is the honey. And then a little red wine vinegar, and then some fresh squeezed lime juice, and garlic powder. Last but not least, all right. 
And then we just give this a good beating. Look at that. I just love avocado. And this really adds a nice smoothness to the dish. All right, so now the avocado's in. Here's what we're gonna do now. Add the dressing. Mm. And just mix that up and make sure everything is blended together. All right, so now that that's there, um, you know, the queso is really flaky. So they come in wheels, about eight ounce wheels. So I'm using about a half a wheel in here. And then you just grind it up with your hands and make sure it crumbles nicely. Mm. This is amazing. And this is a fresh one. Wait till you taste it <clears throat> after a few hours in your fridge. Oh, it is so good. I just love it. And it's really good, of course, with, you know, tortilla chips. But if you put this in a taco and then put some chicken over it or ground beef or the carne asada and then um, on a salad, a bed of lettuce. I mean, this really is a versatile topping for a lot of things. And of course, a margarita would be good, but I found a really nice crisp wine. And this is Foon Blanc from um, Ferrari Carano. And it says it's a Sauvignon Blanc too, but it's really not. It doesn't have that heavy grapefruit taste. It's just really light, refreshing, nice palate cleanser. So, caviar. What do you think of that? Cowboy caviar. Go to my website. CaseyMaloneShow.com and you'll get the recipe for this and the dressing. And remember, it's versatile. What you don't like, take out. And if you think I missed something, add it to that. And uh, you are going to love it. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plump card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Here at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you. From cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. The health of our members and staff has always been our top priority. Limiting class sizes, social distancing, and frequent cleanings are just a few ways we are making Creekside a safer environment for all. Membership and personal training specials are happening now. So come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. RNS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RNS Paint. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering, made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call locally owned Pebble Stone, the best flooring system. It's not just any stone, it's Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Well, it was a huge disappointment this year that we once again had to cancel the Mahoning Valley St. Patrick Parade due to the pandemic. And last year when it was canceled, the Murphy family sent me this video where they hosted their own parade on Parade Day. 
and the committee thought that's a great idea. So we are asking all of our enthusiastic participants to host their own neighborhood parade with friends and family. Make sure you do it on parade day, March 14th, step off at 1 p.m. and video it. Send us the videos to our Facebook page. And on St. Patrick's Day, the top three videos that receive the most likes will be awarded prizes, 150 for first, 100 for second, and for third place, 50 bucks. This way we can all celebrate the St. Patrick Parade together, but it will have to be separately. Go to our Facebook page for more details or our website. Parade Day, March 14th, Slantia. You are going to love the recipe that I am about to make. I borrowed it from the Beach House Cookbook. My new best friend, Mary Kay Andrews. She was a guest of the Literary Society, part of the Public Library of Youngstown and Mahoney County. And she came into town. She is a New York Times uh, best-selling author, 24 novels. And in a lot of her books, she mentions a recipe or two. And she compiled all of these recipes from herself, her husband, her mother, her friends. And it's really a beautifully written and well done book with lovely pictures. And uh, she was really a neat lady. And this recipe I'm about to make is her sister-in-law's recipe. It's called Jean's Chicken Enchilada Dip. For this recipe, you'll need three large bone-in chicken breasts, one pound of cream cheese softened, one and a half cups shredded sharp cheddar cheese, one and a half tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of hot sauce, one teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of paprika, and one 10 ounce can of diced tomatoes with green chilies undrained. You'll also need one half cup of fresh cilantro and four green onions chopped. Now I've already prepared the chicken breasts and I followed her recipe to the T. I bought three bone in skin on chicken breasts and I put them in water, boiled them for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then after they cooled, took the skin off, deboned it and then shredded it. I imagine this would work fine if you were to get a rotisserie from the grocery store, but her recipe calls for doing it this way. So this is already prepared and it's in the recipe, you'll see it. So now let's get the sauce going that goes on that wonderful chicken breast. I softened a pound of cream cheese. I bought the low fat just trying to cut some calories here. So it's already softened, but take your hand mixer and blend it and get it really nice and fluffy before we add the rest of the ingredients. So this will be just a couple minutes. So see, it looks almost like cake frosting. Uh, it's delicious. So now it's a little more whipped up, has some air in it. And now we're going to add the sharp cheddar hot sauce. Now, if you don't like things with a little spice, you can forget this ingredient. I like it, I doubled it. Instead of one a tablespoon, I think I added two, because I like it hot. Also the oregano, the paprika, let's get all that in there. I mean, and these flavors are so nice, they really don't taste like an enchilada. And then the chili powder, get all that in there. Cumin and the minced garlic. So now that all these ingredients are in there, we will blend it together, whip it up, and stir it to combine. And everything else will be adding and stirring by hand. So this is the three shredded chicken breasts. And then, to loosen things up, because this is quite thick, Add the can with tomato and chilies and leave all the juices in. That is very important to do. Also, our cilantro. Hold back just a little bit so you have garnish for when you serve it. And then our green onions. And I chop these pretty fine so they all mix together nicely. This is quite a mess. It's a beautiful mess. 
And now we'll just stir this and get it all combined thoroughly. And it's such a pretty color. So now all we have to do is cover this and I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator at least four or five hours overnight and uh, use it the next day. So we'll put this one in and uh, get my other one out that has been refrigerated overnight and we'll sample it. So you have not tasted the uh, no. enchilada recipe, have you? I have not. And uh, because, of course, it is a enchilada dish, we are going to enjoy, uh, enjoy a Corona. Yes, we are. Okay, I know you didn't like beer, so I didn't give you that much. All right, so cheers. cheers. Try the Corona. Ooh, delicious. Now you gotta try the dip. Tell me what you think. Hmm. Mmm, that is excellent. That's good. All those flavors just melt together. Mm. I mean, this will not last long at no, all. No. When you serve this. This is a great recipe for the fall with football and. That's know. what I thought too, for yeah. tailgating and stuff. I mean, it really is delicious. It's called Jeans Chicken Enchilada Dip. Mm. And all you have to do is go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. Ole! Ole! Cheers. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.